Kittens. Who wants some fun for mailbag, huh? See if we can get them in here uh, for mailbag today. I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, but I got five minutes, but I think we're going to be just a little bit late. I want to, um, I think today's Halloween for everybody, probably, because it's the weekend that's closest and it's Saturday. Uh, that's my assumption is that today's the day that people are going to be Halloweening. Uh, it's also our Christmas day. I'm going to come back and explain all this a second time. So uh, my point being, I wanted to put on my Halloween costume. It's just going to take a second, and uh, I will be right back, okay? Maybe get a glass of water or something. And, oh, the microphone. Yes, all that. So, wow, speaking of microphones, that is so squeaky. I wonder if I could put a little drop of oil in there. Not right now.
All right, guys, I need one more minute. I got my partner here, but I got to put Maggie away. So hang on. I'll be right with you. Hi, Maggie. Come to my office. No, no. I think Mike, 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 one, two. All right. Uh, what am I forgetting? I definitely need some more caffeine in me, and I think I left that in the car. So you guys check the mic. I'll be right back again. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi, everybody. All right. Here we are. I think kind of I'm super sweaty from running back and forth uh, again. So my apologies, but uh, it should be mailbagish time. So welcome for that. Gosh, I just wiped my forehead with this and there's dirt on it. Did I put that on there? Was it already there? All right. Either way. All right, uh, this is really hot, and I'm not ready for that. I'm just going to unzip it a little. Don't worry, I got a t-shirt on underneath. See, it's all just fake. It's just silly. Um, but, uh, whew, man, I'm steaming. I can feel the steam coming off of me now. So don't worry. All right, I'm decent. We're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to ruin the illusion right off the bat because uh, that's what I need to do. All right. Um, hopefully, I'll cool off in a second here. Man, this is intense. Uh, let's see where we are. Okay, hang on. Whew. Okay. Yeah, it's a really hot day. I don't know. This would have been perfect, except, you know, last week, because last week it was cold. We even hit freezing temperatures. And then all of a sudden, we just hit this hot thing. It's hot, hot, hot. So... Uh, who could have anticipated that? Not me, certainly. Um, all right, so hang on now. I'm digging for a knife in here. 
And uh, we don't have any letters to open today because somebody um, didn't bring the mailbox key with them to the post office. Uh, what happened was um, uh, I, I had my car in for repair. I think I had just kind of mentioned that to everybody at some point it came up. And uh, I had to clean everything out of it. And I had to go get mailbag that, that weekend with the loaner car. And so I took the key with me. And then it never got back, and I actually don't know exactly where it is. I know I'll find it because there's a limited number of places it could be, but it, it never got put where it should have been. And uh, yeah, so I couldn't get the mail this morning, all of it. I got this, of course, but I couldn't get the uh, letters. So um, yeah. All right, uh, news this week. Um, I don't think there's that much news. Of course, tonight is DJ's Christmas tree decoration. So it's going to be a big day um, here for us. I'm sure. Okay, try to keep everything somewhat in order. Uh, it's going to be a big day for us um, that way. Um, and I think that is at 6 o'clock, if I remember right. So that's what we'll be doing this evening. And uh, what else is news? Next week is, of course, Teaspoon's um, pre-appointment, where he's going to get a checkup before he gets scheduled for his um, surgery. So this, the same surgeon that's going to do the, the operation is going to see him uh, this, I think it's Tuesday maybe, something like that, coming right up anyway, Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I think that's that, all right? So uh, apologies to anybody who did send in a letter. Um, that's just all on me, but we'll jump straight into the boxes and packages and see what we got. So. Uh, might actually end up making today go pretty quickly, which uh, wouldn't be too bad considering all the stuff that we have to do later on today, right? So, okay, let's start here. Ooh, fun tubes. Now that is fun. I see some notes going on down below there too, so we'll get to them. We've got to excavate them. Oh, these are those cat kickers that are made out of the marshmallow bed material. Uh, those are really nice, but they've been uh, vacuum packed just like a marshmallow bed. And this is uh, 30 feet, oh, Mylar balls. Okay, now hang on, these are some classic toys. Well, modern classic uh, for the kickers. And these notes are uh, four endowment boxes if the Academy needs a few, that's okay. From Jackie, Oh, thank you. All right, uh, from Jackie, enjoy your gift for Till, Petty Cash, and uh, uh, let's see, for, for Bill. Um, pink for girls, blue for boys, green for Till. Uh, from Jackie. Well, thank you so much. Uh, there's probably six in here then, right? I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell because there's so... Oh, it does say six. Yeah, I would have thought three, but they're so crushed. Who could tell? So uh, there are six in there. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Jackie. That's wonderful. These will be great for their endowments. And I'm just going to set them right over here for the moment. Yeah, Maggie's put away. You can, um, as long as the food's put up. I don't want her with any other food. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, Till's been put up because, of course, her dietary uh, concerns, and then she doesn't get along with Till or Logan too well. So, oh, hey, this looks oddly familiar. All right, this one's a little bit more fluke. Is this six also? It is also six, and it's also from Jackie. Oh, okay, cool. Well, now we got a lot of them. That's cool. That will be plenty for everybody, Jackie. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, wait, this is going over here. This thing's actually fairly comfortable. I'm surprised. I haven't worn like a onesie type thing in forever. And uh, I was afraid it would feel awful like right here in particular, but this is very comfortable. Like, yeah, not bad at all. I can get used to this. I don't know what you cats are complaining about. Where's the, where'd she go anyway? Oh, more from Jackie. Wow, it's Jackie. Jackie mailbag today. What is this one? Oh, more fun tubes. Okay, cool. All right, well, we got some duplicates. And uh, oh, 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 you know what? This might be something I have to talk about twice, actually. This is my fault, I bet. Jackie, I'm so sorry. Here's what happened, I think. And, um, you know, excuse me if I'm wrong, but the reason that I think that we have uh, a duplicate package here is this is one of uh, two packages that we got two weeks ago and they were set in the garage and then just missed after that. So that was, again, entirely my fault, I'm sure. Uh, who else's fault could it possibly be? Um, there were two packages there, and one of them looked like this. So this had to have been one of them, and I'm sure what happened was Jackie, you know, called Amazon, and she's like, it's been two weeks. They, they never turned up. Send another. 
um, or maybe even bought another. And if you did, I apologize. These will go to good use though, Jackie, and I really, really appreciate it. I want you to know that. And I think we've got a second instance of that. Like I said, I set aside two packages that have been in the garage for two weeks. I brought them both in uh, this week. The other one is the big thing here uh, from Joy F. And I know there's duplicates of that because she and I have been in communication. And I think there was just a little breakdown. I, I, I thought that I had gotten the word out about that to um, those people, but the, I, I did not follow up on it the way that I should have. Um, and uh, that was that's entirely on me. So... Um, my apologies, but I, I do assure you that those will, will go to good use. So, all right, uh, we'll dig our way down to the uh, Joy F stuff. Um, but this is, okay, uh, this looks like a Charlie I box to me. Let's find out. Hi, hi, what you doing? What you doing? Hi, you need to get petted so much more. You and your brothers and sister need to get bothered a whole bunch a whole bunch, okay? You need so much more bothering so you grow up just like Raindrop. Oh, hi, Raindrop. Well adjusted. I tried. I tried. Okay, the knife guard. Okay. All right, we got notes. Oh, we got three notes. Wow. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well, that says note part three, so we'll get to it, but uh, I'm reading some of the worst news. Okay, hang on. Wow, that's a big note. Oh, so cute. It's a pop-up card, I see. Oh, and it's got a kitty wearing gold chains and headphones. That's so cool. Mr. A, happy. Oh, goodness, you put a number, and that's what the kid is covered. The kitten wearing headphones is covering up a number. Uh, I'm just going to leave the number out. It says happy birthday. Lots of love, purrs and meows from Charlie, Weirdo, and Kevin. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm going to leave out this uh, little card that you sent for my birthday uh, for the kittens to play with. I think they'll like it. And maybe at some point they'll pull that sticker off and reveal my age, which uh, honestly, it's a revelation to me too. I don't do the math on that anymore since like, you know, my 30s. So, uh, whew. All right, number two. Uh-huh. Let's see here. What is going on in here? Uh, oh, I see. Interesting. It's just interesting packaging. And, ooh, it's another pop-up card. This one's a whole little village. Uh, oh, I see. It's like, a, it's like London, actually, I think. I'm looking for landmarks that are super recognizable. And they are all there. And little buses. And people ice skating. Uh, and a, a pirate ship? Is that a thing that I'm supposed to know? I don't know. Okay, to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty, and any mom, cats, and kittens at KA, have a Merry Christmas, and enjoy the holidays. Lots of love. Charlie Weirdo and Kevin, thank you again. Yes, uh, like I said, today is the start of Christmas for DJ, and uh, therefore for Kitten Academy. And I know it seems early, but Christmas is the one holiday that DJ uh, chooses to participate in. And she loves it. So uh, anything we can do to make it a little bit more fun and last a little longer, why not, right? So here we are on note number three, the uh, one that has disappointment right on top. Uh, it says, note, sorry, parcel too heavy, chocolate biscuits in next parcel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. A and DJ. Hope you are both well and recharging your batteries. Mr. A, we know you don't celebrate your birthday, but we do. We'll be having ice cream and chocolate cake. Oh, my goodness. Uh, please, uh, enclosed, uh, please, a named ring for Jack the Toothy Donkey in the sunroom. Oh, sure. Um, there it is, Jack, right there. I like the Toothy Donkey. I guess uh, better than calling him the Hanging Donkey because he is uh, currently sort of dangling in there. Um, enclosed, uh, let's see, Jack, uh, biscuits for DJ and yourself. Also, chocolate bars to do as you see fit, Mr. A. Uh, let's see here. It says you may eat the petty cash. That's got to be a reference to something. In the, oh, the petty cash. I see. We have chocolate money. How cute. Eat your petty cash. Uh, I've seen lots of chocolate gold coins in my life, of course. That's a Christmas classic for some reason. But I've never seen chocolate bills uh, before, but here they have them. Uh, little 10 pound notes, I believe, uh, in there. Uh, that's new. I like it. So, uh, let's see. 
there are two Christmas presents to be placed under the tree, ready to be opened on Christmas Day. Thank you so much for making that clear. I know I've said that I'm always uh, confused when somebody sends nicely wrapped Christmas presents, whether I'm supposed to open them right now, a mailbag, or whether I'm supposed to put them under the tree for Christmas. So uh, I love that you've said that, so it's not ambiguous. Uh, and we'll have a tree tonight to put them under. These will be the very first presents under that there. They, they predate the tree even. How about that? Uh, DJ, at the very bottom of the package is a steampunk clock to be made from kit. Good luck. Uh, love from Charlie, Purrs and Meows from Weirdo and Kevin. This is a really cool clock. Is it a, does it really work as a clock, too? Oh, wow. It's a mechanical. Huh. That's a really cool-looking clock. Hmm. I'm curious about how, uh, how you can uh, make it go. Is there a, I don't see anything in it that would act as a spring, but there are some interesting coiled little cuts of wood that maybe are. How cool. Uh, this is fascinating. I would be fascinated by this. And DJ, as you know, has had a hobby recently of putting together, uh, she likes little models of houses and things, you know, and they make them, uh, you can buy kits. Uh, she's not at the level yet of just doing them from scratch like some people do, but you can buy kits and they're mostly paper, um, and little tiny bits of wood and some other odds and ends. And, uh, you, you know, you, she takes a, it's her, it's her fun. It's her fun thing to do. In fact, uh, I believe she's on vacation starting today for two weeks. And, um, my guess is that that's probably what she's going to do. It's typically what she does on her vacation. Uh, so I think this is going to go right along with it. It might be a real fun little distraction for her. So, uh, thank you so much. What a fun thing to do. I'm just, I'm super curious to see how it works. I can see that there's different sizes of gears that would, you know, go to it and that they've got the hands there. And I mean, it really looks like it should be functional. I, the only thing I don't see is what drives it. There's got to be something there. Hmm. Very cool. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. I know uh, DJ is going to have a lot of fun with that. I'm going to have fun watching DJ do that. And I am going to love putting these under the Christmas tree. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, uh, let's keep going though. Let's see here. I should take a real quick look at chat so I can take a sip of my coffee and make sure that this is all working still. Uh, let me turn off my mic so you don't have to listen to me swallowing coffee. Hang on. Okay, uh, looks like everything's going fine here. I got a chance to have a little more uh, of the uh, coffee, which I so desperately need right now. Lots and lots of that. Yeah, I didn't get to sleep quite as early as I had wanted last night either. So, oh man, I'm going to be uh, really pushing myself to get all the way through today. Um, but uh, we will, we will persevere. Okay. Uh, no, 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 right under the fancy knife guard. Oh, look at that. It's not just a knife guard. It's the fancy knife guard. And let's see here. We have, okay, to read on stream, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Uh, DJ, something came for you to do on your uh, vacation you've got, right? Vacation? Come take a look at this. Charlie, I sent uh, Christmas presents to go under the tree right away. Where did you go? I just hear you walking back and forth, and I don't know where you are. Listen. That's for you to do when you're doing your little houses. Are you going to do your house while you're yeah. on vacation? Yeah. How oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, that's a little side project distraction. I bet that'll be fun. I remember uh, when I was a kid, we would go to the Field Museum in Chicago, and they had all these kits of uh, little laser-cut dinosaurs that you would put together. And it was mostly just like all their little bones. It wasn't, you know, it was dinosaur bones. It was skeletons. Uh, it was little wooden cut bones, and you'd have to put all of them together. Uh, that was good fun for me. I always liked those. Um, I'm sure now it's just nothing to it. You know, it's just too, it's like, it's just that... You know, you've got one piece that goes this way and one piece that goes this way with a slot. Well, dinosaurs, are, they like that. you got one piece that's the spine that goes this way, and then you just slot in all the rib bones, and that's 90% of it. Uh, and then little pieces for the legs, and you're set. Uh, it's not too much to it, but 
Uh, from when I was a kid, it was just about the right level. So those and the uh, Moldorama, the little wax things that were at all the Chicago museums, and you'd put in like, you know, 50 cents and you'd watch it mold a little wax dinosaur right there on the spot. And it would drop out and be really hot. It was cool. And then as a toy, it would last like, I don't know, a week maybe before you either accidentally crushed it or lost it or it was just gross. Um, where was I? Okay, I'm sending along a slightly odd grab bag of items I've been collecting for a while. I'm including some Christmas-themed cat toys to help with the tree trimming party. Please deploy them as you see fit. Oh, um, oh, look at that. We got a set of Christmas cat gnomes. That's adorable. And we got another set of Christmas toys. And uh, lots of I'm spoiling lots of the other things <laughs> that are in here for myself. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, okay. I bought the suits and cones before my cat, Andre, had a ma minor procedure this spring. Uh, these are so cute. Wow, these are big suits. That's, it says medium. This must be a dog suit. That's huge. That would be a perfect size for a big mom cat. Uh, this one's pretty big, too. And it says, uh, he's a contrary boy, so I thought he'd bother his incision constantly, but he surprised us by behaving perfectly and never even trying to bother his stitches. I'm pretty sure it was just to deny me the pleasure of seeing him in the lion cone. I hope they will work for mom cats or maybe for Teaspoon after his procedure next month. Wouldn't he look a doorbell as a lion? Absolutely. Uh, the lion cone is super cute. And if we have to put a cone on uh, our poor little drizzle after all, I think we could do a lot worse than this one. Of course, it matches you a lot better, buddy. Can we just get you to just put your head through here for one second just so we can see how cute it would be? Come on, buddy. He's like, I do not want to participate in this game. Here you go, buddy. Here, here Teaspoon. Now we can all imagine what it would look like to see him in the lion cone. Uh, hopefully, that's coming through. Okay. All right, buddy. Don't lick anything. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay. Okay. There you go. Humiliation. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, where was I? The fancy feast savory cravings are also to be used as you see fit. My boy Pierre used to go crazy for them, but one day he decided he hated them because cat. I know you'll put them to good use at the academy. Yes, indeed. These things never go to waste here. I have had that same experience happen so often, but... The nice thing about the Academy is if one cat just suddenly decides they don't like something, there's always the next one, you know. And worst case, if something really goes unloved, uh, we can donate it to uh, either Dawes or to Dr. K at, uh, at Aristocats, our vet, has a donation box that she uses. And she uh, either gives it to needy people uh, and cats that come in or to uh, some of the local shelters that she supports down by her in Fairfield, uh, which I think is mostly tails, uh, although I don't really know uh, everybody that they, they work with now. So, um, okay. Um, oh, uh, I was going to say, yes, yeah, she's got her donation bag, and sometimes I do bring her stuff, and I was in there the other day, and uh, I hesitate to say this. I don't, I don't, uh, you, you guys don't need to send her anything, and that's my point, um, because it said on there one of the things she was looking for was blankets. So I happened to be talking to them by email, and I, in my email I said, hey, by the way, I saw you guys were looking for blankets in your donation box. Uh, would you take clean, sterile, used blankets or only new blankets? And they wrote back uh, something that they are going to regret. Uh, they told me that they would love used, clean blankets which I have in massive supply, and I actually just cleaned out the blanket closet, so I actually have some packed up and maybe ready to go. I'm thinking, all right, uh, you said I could. <laughs> so she's about to regret all that. Um, let's see now. Uh, where was I? I've included a few treats and maybe some tricks for you that I picked up on my travels this year. This sparkling Unicat pin is from Gen Con. Aw, I always thought that would be such a cool thing to do. Oh, here it is. It is perfect. I love it. Uh, when I saw it, I could not resist. It is a tiny little um, fat cat that's running or flying or leaping or something. And it's got little rosy cheeks. It's making a smile with its little cute eyes. And it's got a unicorn horn. And indeed, the floofiest tail Maggie would be jealous of uh, that is rainbow colored. 
It is beautiful, and I love it, and you probably can't see it because it's so tiny. Um, I know you wouldn't believe it. I have a collection of little pins I've talked about a few times now uh, that I think was originally going to be DJ's collection, and she never got around to wearing them, and I'm like, I love them all, so now I'm going to take them and wear them. I've done half of that, uh, the taking half. So, <laughs> where are we? Um, uh, let's see. I picked up the patches at a gas station. Did I just... I feel like I just took something out and set it aside while I was... Oh, these. Oh, eight, eight hour energy patches. Oh. Oh, goodness. That sounds interesting. Uh, this is the kind of thing um, that you do see at, uh, like, truck stops and stuff, isn't it? Interesting. Uh, caffeine patches while driving to Indianapolis. You can use them next time a mom cat gives birth first thing in the morning or before mailbag if you don't have time for enough coffee. So this is, like, transdermal caffeine. I did not know that they did that. Eight-hour energy patches. That's just interesting to me scientifically, you know? Huh. And it does look like the main ingredient is, in fact, caffeine. Also, some uh, other extra bonuses. Some uh, B vitamin complex, guarana, green tea, ginseng. You know, that kind of thing. But mostly just caffeine. How cool. Hmm. Well, I'm just super curious to try that out and see what it's all about, regardless. But what a great idea. If, if, it, if I do hang on to that, and uh, we do have a pregnant cat, and I do need some caffeine, what a... That's pretty smart. I like it. Uh, I'm sending along some candies and pate. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, that's like the real deal right there. Um, and it's also in French, so I wouldn't have the slightest... Oh, wow. It made... In France. Oh my goodness. And it's tinned so it can last a long time. That's good. Hmm. Um, uh, let's see. And candy. And you say, I bought in Toulouse when my husband and I visited France in September. Okay, now it makes sense. So the candy's also French. Oh, look at that. It certainly is. Wow. It looks like some caramels and some hard candies, perhaps. Yeah, feels like it as well. Hmm. Uh, where was I? We got to meet up with fellow Discorder Isabel while we were there, which was so much fun. Thank you again for creating this wonderful community. Well, that's just the sweetest thing. That is the coolest thing. I, I love, I just love hearing about people meeting up um, that met on uh, our Discord or through our, you know, YouTube or whatever. It's, it's fantastic. It's just the coolest thing. And how sweet of you to think of me when you're someplace so um, far I was going to say exotic and foreign, but we're talking about France, and it's just a place where people live. So is every place in the world, though. It's wonderful. I think it's fantastic. I'm so excited. I don't believe that I've ever had pate that wasn't for cats, and I, I have to say, it's not like I sit around eating cat food, but I've definitely tried it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how different a pate that's made for humans might be. I'm assuming vastly different. Uh, of course, I don't even know what kind of uh, goose... Um, maybe there's a picture of one on here or a duck, a duck. I'm guessing duck. No, I don't know. I'll have to look some of this up. Yeah. I do think that's interesting. Okay. Uh, probably, probably duck. Okay. Where are we? Uh, <laughs> this is too much fun and I keep getting lost. Our flight home had a stop in Iceland where I got you a bag of popcorn. I'm pretty sure it's your favorite flavor. That, that must be what this light little bag is. That's so sweet. When you're on vacation, you think of me and, and you bring little things from all over. It's just so wonderful. I don't even know. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I do know. It's black and it, I can't read any of it. And I'm like, at first I thought you were being serious. I'm like, oh, it must be some kind of chocolate because it's all black. You see, right? Like maybe it's got some chocolate on there. Oh, so sweet. And now I realize, no, this has got to be... Uh, licorice, yeah, it is. It's that salted licorice flavored popcorn, like salmiaki. Um, goodness, it does say right here, uh, caramel. No, it does. It's all, it calls itself caramel, but it says right here it includes licorice. So I know what's up, even though I can't read the rest of it. Hmm. 
Well, I'm definitely going to try it. I'm excited, actually, to try it. It's been a long time since the Salmiaki and the, uh, uh, what was the one, the Panettiere or whatever that I actually kind of liked with that, that tarry flavor to it. Not that I would, uh, but it was all right. You also sent a paper. Uh, let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Our flight home had a stop in Iceland. Okay. The framed art is a New Yorker cartoon. It, uh... <laughs> oh, that must be what's in here, I bet. The framed art. Hang on. Uh, yes, that made me think of Loganberry. Okay, now I got it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, a framed art that made, okay, the framed art is a New Yorker cartoon that made me think of Loganberry, so I made a few corrections in Photoshop to make it academical. I hope you like it. And the kitty scissors is for the mailbag toolbox. No more struggling with zip ties or other packaging. And finally, I've included a local newspaper for your enjoyment. Uh, indeed, what on earth? Oh, oh, these are for the frame. I see they're little tabs to, uh, to mount the frame. Okay. Eh. I think I saw this cartoon on Discord, actually. Uh, it's very cute, and I see what you mean by making edits. I don't know how much of this was in the original, but uh, it was surely black and white originally, and you colored in the cat to be orange like Loganberry. Oh, it's a, it's a man looking at the cat sitting next to the litter box, and the man is saying, never, ever think outside the box, uh, which is adorable. So you've colored the cat to look like Loganberry, and the man... Uh, may have already been bald, but uh, you've colored in his socks to be different colors, so it's clearly me. That is so cute. Thank you so much. I, I will put that out and adore it. Um, okay. Uh, local newspaper. Yes, I always love the local newspapers. This is great. Falls Church News Press. I'm excited about that as well. And thank you again for everything you do for cats and kittens. Please give Teaspoo the Duchess and Mr. Quiddleston special spoogles from me. Love and lobsters. Maya Bastet. Aw, thank you, Maya. Thank you very, very much. That's super sweet. And, uh, yes, thank you. you. You have done so much for us. You're the one that really deserves so much thanks as, uh, as the one that's basically been responsible uh, at the, the top of uh, KACon recently, so, uh, wait, that doesn't go in there. What am I doing? Okay, get this all together. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, this is Christmas. That's Christmas. This is also going to the Christmas room. These are endowments. That can go over there. This is for me to eat. This goes directly into the mailbag box. Good, now we're getting things in order. Uh, that also is going to go... Um, Somewhere. Okay. We're getting closer. Great. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need these. I can't even figure out exactly how they would actually be used. They are tabs to hold the art in. I guess if you have to take the back off, it's all set. All right. Next, we have a very heavy chewy box that says it is uh, from Diane, the other DJ. All right, Diane, the other DJ has sent us, ooh, we have Nulo, of course. Uh, thank you very much. That's the Nulo uh, chicken turkey that we've been feeding everybody lately. Uh, fantastic. I love the fact that this comes in such big cans. They almost always get dented, um, which is fine. I think I hopefully know the difference between one that's dented from shipping and one that's dented from botulism, uh, hopefully. Um, but uh, but the, the big cans are so nice for us here, and uh, that's one of the reasons I love that. Uh, you also sent some Temptations Creamy Puree with tuna, it says, which is like the uh, Temptations version of Churu, which I know the kids love. So uh, thank you very much, Diane, the other DJ. Uh, that's awesome. Okay, everybody's tearing this one apart. Oh, and they're sniffing it too. What were you just smelling in there? I don't know. It's good to know it's Morrison's, though. Whatever it is, it's, it's Morrison's. Uh, she's in there sniffing it. Let's find out what this is. I can't believe this bag, uh, with the handles on it and everything, made it internationally to our home. And uh, it wasn't even opened when it got here, but I'm sure this is Raindrop. Loves to tear things up. So, uh, let's see here. Very impressed. You know, sometimes the Postal Service uh, reminds you how great they can be when, uh, when you see something like this. Morrison since 1899. Whoa. All right, let's see. What are we getting? What? Uh, 
what do we got? I need another knife here. Hang on, we got some more tape going on here. The Morrison's bag. All right. It is tear resistant. Yes. It, oh, ooh, rainbow. Ooh, very rainbow. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a note in here somewhere? Well, we'll find out. We have whiskers with tuna. Nice. I think this is the the. I think this is the food that Till came. Was it Till? Was it Serenity that came with food? I think it was Till that came with food, right? Wow, what's going on in my head? I think this is the food that Till came with when she came with food. Uh, that's cute. That's probably why she was smelling it. I'm sure it just smells good to all of them, though. Anyway, I mean, it's just that's food that just... Oh, kittens love it. Okay. Uh, we have this rainbow cat. He's part of the cute crew, according to his tag, and he is cute. Uh, that's super adorable. You know, I was cleaning the basement yesterday. Here's the note. Cleaning the basement yesterday, going through, and I've got uh, some of the, the the themes that I've been collecting stacked up, and I was I was putting some stuff together for the rainbow theme, and this guy would go perfect to it. So, ah, 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 that was completely uncalled for. Till, come on, I see you're, you're all wappy paws now. You need to reboot. Okay, do I need to put you in your room to reboot, or can you do it from here? It's up to you. Okay. Okay, the note says, Dear Mr. A and Ms. DJ, just a little letter to thank you for all the amazing time, work, and love you give to all the cats and kittens at the Kitten Academy. A very big thank you for the picture of Maggie waving to me. I appreciated it so much. I have sent a few things in the parcel for yourselves and the cats, kittens. Also, a cuddly present for Maggie. Oh, good. Well, she needs something to cuddle with. She's been on the warpath. Uh, thank you for all you do, and I look forward to seeing you all on my stream every day. Thank care. Uh, thank, thank care. No, take care of yourselves, and a big hug and kiss for my favorite Maggie. Much love, Claire and my mom Carrie from the UK. All right, Claire and Carrie, thank you guys so much. This is really cool stuff. Um, and... Uh, like I said, I think Till, uh, well, they're all about these whiskers, but I think Till in particular uh, is, is going to enjoy having some of those as a little treat. Okay, you sent us also some Webex. Licky, uh, that, 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 that. I know, she's like, get away from my food. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, we got Webox, Licky Licks with Chicken. These are, again, like, uh, like Churu, but the Webox brand, which we don't get here in the States at all, you know. So we also have a box of uh, Webox Licky Licks Tasty Yogurt Snack. And it's got a kitty who looks a lot like an Ari on there, maybe a little fatter than an Ari. Then you also sent us the RSPCA Pet Guide Care for Your Kitten. Oh, I love it. I would love to see what the RSPCA says. Ooh, and even if, uh, oh wow, even if it's everything I know, which seems unlikely, by the way, I, I have not formally educated it. Um, so I bet there's a lot I can learn from this, but the photographs are also spectacular in here. Great photos. Wow. Uh, they're so good. This little kitty, oh, he looks just like a, a little teaspoon, except a little bigger, doesn't he? Sitting here getting his, uh, his bat trip. So cute. Okay. Uh, I'm excited about that. You also, <laughs> oh, I am not a cat. Oh, I see. Wow. Somebody's already written an entire book about... I guess it's sort of about meme, social media life um, and memes, but uh, again, the, the cover is obviously that lawyer that uh, accidentally had the cat filter on his Zoom call. Uh, perfect. It says, from avatars to Zoom calls, the pitfalls of modern life by Tim Collins. That name sounds vaguely familiar. I think he's a humorist that uh, I uh, maybe have enjoyed in the past. Um, so... You are going to need a timeout, Till. I know. Everybody's too close. It's not your fault. Everybody's too close to you. Why don't they all just back up and give you your space, huh? It's because I'm here, though. That's why. Okay, and then another book, it says, Cats in Hats. Oh, cats may have nine lives, but they like to dress to the nines as well. On the back, there's a tuxedo cat wearing an avocado uh, as a hat, which is pretty cute. Uh, and let's see, is the book... Okay, um, well... Uh, to quote Arrested Development, I don't know what I was expecting. It is uh, a book that is entirely cats wearing hats. They're little, uh, they're cute little drawings that appear to be watercolor uh, or marker, or maybe watercolor and marker. And uh, they each have a name and a little tiny uh, description with them. For instance, here is Dr. Fuzz. When times are tough, cats just want to help too. 
little Dr. Fuzz. So that is so cute. I'm going to enjoy flipping through this. Thank you uh, very much. It's Claire and Carrie. Thank you both uh, for the wonderful stuff all the way from the UK. That is fantastic. You are going to get a timeout to reboot, okay? Um, sometimes we have to put the little kittens in timeout when they, when they keep hitting each other and uh, when they're a little bit frustrated. And it's not punishment, because I don't think they understand punishment, honestly. Um, I think uh, what it is, though, is a chance for them to just sort of reset. You know, they get to get away from it, quiet down. Their brain kind of gets to get out of that state for a minute, and then they can come back out, you know? Uh, which is what Till needs, but she also seems like she's willing to settle down here in my lap for a second. If she'll do that, we'll be okay. So let's give her one more chance here and see if I can reach a package to open. Uh, this stuff I'm going to put, this is food, so the foods can all go together. I just need to make a little space to put a package in front of me. No, 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 no stop getting squirmy. I know, I know. I know, you're so squirmy. What? You heard me move your favorite food, didn't you? Did you hear it and you think maybe there's going to be some dry food appearing? You think if you hit your kids, you're going to get some? No, you think your kids have got it. She really wants that food. You know what? Why don't, why don't I put her... I'll just take one second here. Uh, we can definitely get through all this, especially because I know what's in these two, and they'll go quickly. Uh, we can definitely get through all this today. Let me take this stuff away so that nobody grabs it while I'm not looking. And I'm going to put Till in her room and give her just a couple of these little whiskers, because I know she's going to think that's the sweetest treat. And as a treat, I think she'll be okay with it. So hang on. I know that's what you're asking for. I know it is. Well, come with me. Come on. Let's go. I know, I know. We've got to close the door. Come on, right in here, Till. Come on. You've got to come through. Oh, no, no, not too many kittens, though. Okay, come on now. Come on, kittens. Oh. All right, a couple of the kittens followed me. Too many kittens. i got to get a couple of them out. Hang on. Oh, and somebody peed on this bean bag while I wasn't looking, and I know it wasn't Till, because she's good about that. So I'm going to have to clean that up real quick now that I've moved in here. It's fine, because I know exactly where the other waterproof is. So just take me one second, everybody. Okay, you ready for this? You ready to try some of this? Okay, now I'm telling you, this is the good stuff. It's not just whiskers. It's foreign. It's exotic. It's from overseas. I opened this the wrong way. It's got a little thing that you're supposed to open, and I didn't open it with a little thing. I just ripped the top off like you would have done. Okay, there you go. There's your little treat, okay? You put the rest in the treat box. I'm going to take this upstairs real quick, and then we'll get right back to mailbag. I promise, everybody. <laughs> I promise. Hang on. <sighs> okay. All right. Drop that in the laundry room. Good. Grab another waterproof. Oh, oh no, oh, oh, laundry. Okay, hang on. Just whatever blankets here, we'll, we'll fix it later. I know you vacuumed those down, didn't you? All right, I'll give you a couple more, but don't tell the kittens, all right, because they don't get any. Hang on. I know, hang on. Well, let me put down the fresh blanket first. Oh, that's cute. Okay, just a couple more. Okay, don't tell anybody. Don't, no, no, I said don't tell any, no, I said don't tell anybody. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, okay, there you go. I know you guys all want some too, but it's not going to work for you. You're not as annoying as she is. Oh, oh no. Okay. All right. I know, I know. Don't worry, we'll get the second breakfast soon enough. Oh, ah, oh, okay, wow, almost took me out. All right. Well, now, here we are. Once again. Uh... Whew. That was fun, and uh, we got a chance to put Till away, and she appreciated that. So, uh, thank you to uh, Carrie and uh, Carrie and um, Claire. Claire and Carrie. All right, thank you. Wow, I got it. All right, Custard, Custard, come here, buddy. Come on. You're sitting directly in front of the camera, and you are a big kitty. 
All right, nice work, buddy. This is from Mishi60. And, oh, it's full of the, uh, the uh, uh, corn uh, packing peanuts. These are the ones that dissolve in water because they're just made out of cornstarch. They're literally the same thing as, like, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, cheesy poofs, but without the cheese, right? That's exactly what they are. I wouldn't eat them because they're not made for you. Uh, I shouldn't say that. I have eaten them plenty of times, and I would eat one right now if I wanted to. It looks like raindrops can eat one. They're not going to hurt you. They're just cornstarch. <laughs> Everybody's taking one. I'm trying to get through them to find out what's in this box somewhere. There's just presumably something in here that's not just packing peanuts, but I can't find it. Okay, here we go. It is a mug. It's so cute. It's a catitude mug, and it is a, uh, it's a little tuxy cat, and he's showing off all of his different uh, moods. He's in different poses, and then each one has a little label of what he's thinking, like, I hate you the least. Come here, I must destroy you, he's saying to the butterfly. Uh, not now, I'm invisible. Oh, this is so cute. Ooh, silence, human, danger is afoot. And, you know, it's a fairly accurate uh, depiction of cat expressions, actually. The way that he's holding his ears and his eyes and his body and his tail in each illustration is, uh, it's actually, it's fairly educational. I especially like the I'm so happy um, one. They've really captured the, uh, the eyes and the ears, that, that expression of just being super happy. And it says the word slow blank, but even without it, uh, really cute. They're all super cute. These guys are going to eat these things now. Once you get them wet, they get super sticky like cornstarch. So that's why they're, once they start licking them, they can't put them down. We also have a, oh, nesting dolls, a chonky cat nesting dolls. Oh, well, I love nesting dolls. I know I've said that. And, uh, ooh, those are so cool. Mishi 60. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a note in here that tells us what you want me to do with all this, but I assume it is. Oh my, I'm sorry. <coughs> Hang on. I got I just saw the, this thing. I just saw the label on this receipt and it got me. Oh, it really got me. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure if I can say it. I think I can say it. If they can write it on the receipt, I can say it, right? But I don't know. We'll get to the item involved, and then we'll figure it out, okay? It's just, I was not ready for that. The name of the product. Okay, it's not this one, though. This is cat napkins, uh, and they are uh, napkins, uh, but they have cats on them. Oh, different cats. Each napkin has a different cat on it. Oh, that's so cool. What a great idea. We usually just use paper towels. We're not fancy enough for napkins, but now that we have some, I think we can use them until we run out. Uh, oh, wow, there's more stuff hiding in these, these uh, packing peas. It's kind of fun, actually. It's like going in the ball pit and trying to find a prize that's hidden in there. I keep diving into the packing peanuts, and there's more. There's just more. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh wow. I really got to dig because there's a sticker in here, and I, that's, that could really be hidden, huh? Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, cool. Hey, let's put all these peanuts back in here and see if a kitten wants to jump in it. Look at this, it's a little cat in a little, like, space-looking pod, and he's so happy. How cute. That's the cutest sticker. I, I just love it. Okay, there's so many things. I think I got everything out. So uh, we got the nesting doll cats. We got the cat napkins. We got the cup, uh, the mug with all the catitude on it. Here we go. Uh, we have a banana cat. Yes, the cat, the kitty who lives in a banana. All right, I must have gotten a bad translation at some point. So I was pretty sure he is a banana. Uh, maybe that's just my head cannon. Oh my goodness, do I have some weird head cannon about? Uh, hang on though. I see. This is so cute. Oh, he, yeah, it's, it's cute. He makes uh, cute noises when you peel open his banana, and it is an official Crunchyroll product as well. How about that? Uh, so cute. Okay. I wanted to be a banana. He had some, uh, oh my goodness, it's been so long now. He wanted to uh, own a house. No, it is a house. No, he wanted, um, <sighs> okay, it's been a while, everybody. There we go. Okay, there's more. There's so much more. I'm just clearing the pile. Hang on. Okay. 
Hey, buddy, you want to take a, a dive into these packing peanuts? Look at that. <gasps> What's in there? Oh, is that fun? I don't know if it's fun or not. It'd be fun for me. Oh, she's going to dig. Okay. Uh, this are socks. They say, people I love. One, cats. Uh, that is the entire list. Just one, one list of people I love, and it's cats. That's super cute. Uh, this, <laughs> this is also very funny. This is a little catnip pillow, but the catnip pillow has a cat on one side. Uh, the cat's laying on the floor, and you can see a little mouse hole in the background with little mouse eyes looking out at the cat. But the cat's laying on the ground on his back, and he says, I think I'm a seal. And he says, I'm a seal now. And on the back is a little picture of a mouse, and he's looking at us, and he's saying, I think your cat is high. Uh, that's it. I think your cat is high is the title of the catnip. I think your cat is high. I think I'm a seal. Uh, that's really cute. That's really cute and really funny. I, I, it's great. I got to stop saying I really like it, because that's just a phrase I'm using way too much. Uh, crazy cat dude. This is so a uh, weird coincidence because this says crazy cat dude and it's got cats it's like smoking pipes and stuff. And also they are wearing camouflage. I mean, I'm sure he just means it to be a cat pattern, the artist, but it really is uh, like a camouflage pattern that he's put on the cat there. Crazy cat dude. Cat smoking a pipe. That is cool. Oh, we got another one. Dude, premium organic catnip. And this is just a cat on the front with his eyes half closed saying, dude. Uh, oh, and same thing on the back, except now his eyes are more open and his tongue's sticking out. Very cute. These are, these are very cute. I love the art on them. Oh, there's a third one, too. Oh, this is the one that cracked me up. Yes, okay. Uh, this is a cat that is crocheting, and he's got his leg up so you can see his butt. And I think you can see what it's titled as well. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it's a, that's cute. There's another sock here that just says cats, 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 cats. It sounds just like DJ when she gets home. So there's like DJ socks there. Oh, this is the cutest. This is, uh, it's a tiny little key light and it makes kitten sounds apparently. Uh, and it looks exactly like that little, um, the little kitty that, that uh, goes on the, gets lost and goes on the adventure. What's his name? The little Japanese. And he's in the, the comics and the cartoons, the little gray kitty. Uh, and it's all about him trying to find his way home. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm trying to uh, think of the name of something that is, I'm not, and I'm saying the name of it <laughs> without realizing Okay, he's got a zip tie around him. What on earth? If only I had a tool appropriate for removing a zip tie from one of these toys right here in my mailbag box. Oh, if only. Oh, wow, that's a nice pair of scissors. Okay. Uh, anyway, he's super cute, but I want to hear the noise he makes, and so I've got to activate him. And he's got a little button here on the back. I see. He just meows while the light's on, so you can just go... Oh, here, let's do it by the microphone a little bit. <laughs> That's cute. I don't, you guys can't see little, I think it's legend in the dinosaur. It is, it's legend in the dinosaur. He's looking so cute right now. I don't see my phone here either to take a picture for you all at least. Uh, it's probably just buried under all this stuff right here, isn't it? Wouldn't it be? Well, it would be, but it isn't. So, all right, let's just keep rolling. Oh, here it is. Oh, I found it. Now we've got a cat in the way, but that's all right. Maybe I can still... Drizzle, Drizzle, you are directly in the way. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. That'll work. Oh, so cute. Kind of cluttered photo, but that's all right. Uh, I will share that in a minute, I'm sure, when I see it on my phone and remember... Okay. Meow, meow. Put that over here. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, how are we doing for time? Well, 10.56, but uh, I think we got it. Not a problem. Okay, all right, another socks. Uh, this is Kitten Academy Endowments. Perfect. Just had the thought, like, did I forget to turn the mic back on? Have I been talking to myself for a half an hour? No, we're good. Ooh, it looks like tunnels. All right. 
endowment tunnels. Oh, that's right. We were waiting for a couple more tunnels for our endowments last week. They're the ones that are the springs, right? The spring tunnels. Okay. That's what these are. Um, wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, it didn't say anything on this, but wasn't that Lisa for kittens or somebody that sent this? All it says is Kitten Academy Endowments. So that's all I got. Okay. Uh, but that's what that's about, too. So we can put those together over there for the moment. And look at this thing. It's got the Kitten Academy logo all over it. Oh, and it says Busy Cat. Okay. And it's bulging and it's light. I put all that together. I feel like uh, I feel like uh, I should be doing the, like the Kreskin uh, Johnny Carson. Well, that's before my time. I just made a reference to something so old I don't even know it. So uh, there you go. I mean, technically, I guess if I was a kid that really paid attention to adult stuff, you know what? That's not the point. The the point is, I think this is full of blankets because it says Busy Cat and it's full of blankets. <laughs> I can see one right here. Oh, there's a note. Okay. Busy cat. Okay. Hi there, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. This letterhead is adorable. Uh, it says, quilts for till and the petty cash, as usual, all washed before shipping and gently scented with draft. I can smell it. It's beautiful. Oh, man, speaking of draft, which I think is sort of a rose smell, so you're supposed to be, it's vaguely floral, whatever it's supposed to be. Um... Uh, DJ has been running her, she, she's got this little uh, aromatherapy um, nebulizer thing in the bedroom that she uses rarely, uh, but it's nice to have a, a nice smell once in a while. And she turned it on this morning, she put some kind of rose scent in there, um, but it smells to me almost exactly like Medicam, the, the medicine for cats. In fact, I have to give some to her, uh, to little Drizzle today. Um, and it's got a very, very distinctive smell to Medicam. It's kind of a, like a, I describe it as sort of a meaty umami smell. Like it smells like if you were to taste it, it would taste like non-salty soy sauce. Like just the essence of that, uh, that flavor they call umami. Uh, so, um, it's got that smell to it, but it's a very distinctive smell. And I, I, when I smell it, I'm like, oh, I accidentally spilled some, or I got some on my fingers or something. I have to go wash up. And my whole point was that this rose thing, the DJ's going, for some reason, my nose smells it as Medicam. So all day long, all morning long, I've been walking around the house going, I sp spilled Medicam. Like, I, I know I spilled it. So, and I know it's not what it is, but my brain keeps going, you spilled it. You spilled Medicam somewhere. Uh, where was I? I've also noticed a lot of donkeys around the academy recently. Boy, no kidding. We've got an infestation. Uh, we need to call donkey control. Um, and as I had some donkey fabric in my stash, I thought it would look cute made into a quilt. Please use around the academy as you see fit. With love from Busy Cat. Second note. You may not want to read this on the stream. Aw. Aw. That's really sweet. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, just a little something for Bill's memory, and I think that's wonderful. So, uh, Busy Cat, you are a fantastic human being, and um, thank you, by the way, for, for everything you've done for us. These quilts are wonderful, your participation at Gay Con's fantastic, and, uh, and everything you've done for sort of getting the word out and the videos on your YouTube channel and stuff, I, I think that's been wonderful. And I saw you this morning make a comment about how you're, you may not uh, continue to upload the close-ups now that we've gotten something in place that seems to be working and that's that's fine i mean it's if it's just duplicated effort why would you i understand that but it seems like you're having a lot of fun with your youtube channel and i hope um you know there's there's plenty of things i think that 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 you can do to have uh, fun with it that, that if you want to keep doing that could really be awesome too um things like even just pulling out clips of the best parts of things and sort of distilling down all the video that we put out every day into something that people can just watch the good stuff in like, you know, five minutes. That's super valuable and something that I am never going to have the time to do on a daily basis. And I think people would really appreciate it. It's just as an idea. I'm not saying, please go do this for me. Please don't take that the wrong way. I'm just, I'm just throwing like ideas out about like, I know you're having a lot of fun with that. And I feel like it should continue because it benefits all of us. If you're having fun with it, and if it if it also gets the word out about our kittens, we all win. You know, it's the, it's the it's literally it's the rising tide that raises all the boats. You know, it's uh, it's 
it's not a zero-sum game in this case. It's one of those things where everybody can benefit. So uh, what's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. So this is a, a blanket for Till made with that wonderful Kitten Academy fabric. Uh, and I love that you've made these all on money, which uh, your printer must have loved printing for you. Um, so, all right, cash Till. Here's one for Farthing. What a cute little kitty with a little green collar. Does kind of look like Farthing, although a lot more white than Farthing's got. Uh, quid. This is a cute background on this one. And these cats, this, this face, this kind of style, it's a little bit creepy, but it's so pretty too. Just those faces though, like they're just staring, like the thousand yard stare, those eyes. Uh, but it's the colors and the texture, like they look like you could just reach out and pet them. They're so, it's very pretty. Okay, doubloons is pink. Uh, and it's got these two little kitties in a floral basket with some ribbons. Ledger has this green and uh, pink pattern with little cat heads on it. Man, that green and pink is also really, it's like trying to remind me of something specific. It's not quite coming to mind. Just wanna, uh, okay, uh, for use around the Academy, as you see fit, you put a cute little smiling donkey on the card and it is a donkey fabric. That's so cute. That's just adorable. We're going to have fun with that and the donkeys, I think. So thank you for the endowment blankets, Busy Cat, for everybody. Uh, what a name you picked for yourself as a Busy Cat. You certainly do keep busy with all this wonderful stuff, and I appreciate it so much. I just, I really couldn't possibly tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, and the way that, that you sort of just took it on yourself to step in and, and make sure that people had access to all the stuff, uh, you know, when we were having some trouble getting it done ourselves, that initiative is, is it's fantastic. It just, it, we couldn't, I couldn't encourage it enough. So, uh, thank you for all of everything. Okay. These last two are going to be super easy if Custard isn't sitting on them. In fact, I don't even have to open that one. Let's just get the other one and he can sit there for as long as he wants because they both contain, like I said, uh, the same thing. It's the, we started the same way we're ending. Um, this is a package that, again, uh, I took it out of the car two weeks ago for some reason, set it in the garage instead of bringing it immediately into the house with the rest of the mail. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I just had to get something else out of the car. Maybe it fell. Uh, sometimes things fall out of the car when I open it. I don't, I don't remember how it got there. But just like the, uh, the first wonderful package that we had, that's where this has been hiding for two weeks. And uh, the word, uh, just the message didn't get out that we had it. Um, I'm saying that in the passive voice, like I just have no responsibility for it whatsoever. I mean, the message didn't get out. Who could have possibly helped this situation? The message just didn't go. Uh, sometimes they don't, you know? Uh, so, so um, I, I think you sent another of the same thing. And, and what you've told me is that uh, this, is, this is Joy F, I think I said. And uh, what, what Joy F has uh, told me is that this is Till's favorite chair from her room for her to take home in her endowments. Not that she can't also have the original. Uh, I think she can. But now she'll have a brand new one, too. The original's pretty beat up. It's been here for a long time. She is not the first cat to, to sit in it. In fact, it's been in my office for a long time and has been a favorite of everybody that's in my office. If for some reason, these chairs are just a big hit with everybody, not just Till. Um, when, when Custard's in my office, that's the number one place he wants to sit. When Logan's in my office, it's the number one place. Of course, it's not in my office now, so they don't have it, but it always has been. So uh, the note says, hi, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, Bayou, uh, Lila, Abby, Carabine, and Gracie sent a couch for Till from my cat bosses and it's in the big Amazon gift bag so I guess we can use this giant box for something else practical um, and this can go to the uh, in, adopter just because it's funny that way uh, but let's open it up and show it to you guys just in case anybody doesn't know for sure what I'm talking about uh, I can feel it that is what it is you guys, I gotta get out from in front of this mirror so you can see how cute these kittens are, each sleeping in their own pod in front of me. Okay, 
There we go. Wow, that is a big gift bag. All right. There we go. Just like that. Oh, and uh, the original came with, I thought it was like a fur rug. This one's got a little um, uh, rug rug <laughs> with a nice little border on it. And I see it's also got little feet you can put on so it doesn't slide around. How cool. Other than that, this is exactly identical to the first one, except not quite as torn up yet. So, and then I think what's in this box is identical. The uh, another the exact same thing you sent us to because uh, I really dropped the ball on that, and it's my fault. And your generosity on that is fantastic. It's just wonderful. So, uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, if you didn't have anything specific that you wanted done about it. Um, maybe what I should do is what I think I was sort of suggesting. Till takes home this new one and her used one, and we take the other new one and uh, replace the missing one at the academy. Um, you tell me. Of course, talking about Till taking home anything is a little premature, considering she does still need her adopter. Uh, but she'll get there, right? Uh, I know she will. She's just such, she's a great cat. I know you guys just hear her yelling at me all the time. And I know that's got to maybe sort of flavor your opinion of her a little bit. But she's not like that, except that she just wants to be around me all the time. That's what it is. Uh, when she's in my office with me, she never makes a peep. She's just a little silent. Uh, she just comes by once in a while and demands to be pet. And she headbutts me. And she gets up on my desk. And uh, she's recently even started to learn that if she sits in my lap, she can get the petting she wants. And she won't stay there all day like some cats do, but she will voluntarily now get in my lap and snuggle up for a while, which has been fantastic. Um, but, uh, you know, once she's done snuggling, she just likes to go sit on the cat tree nearby and she's just silent and just sleeps and totally cool. Uh, I need to find a way to make that, I think, a little more visible to everybody. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for everything for Mailbag. It's been uh, wonderful here. Now that Custard's up, let's just see if this has another oh, of the same. Oh, oh, wow. It does, but they sent it in the purple gift bag this time. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Uh, put that right here next to the other gift bag. Oh, this is a more appropriately sized gift bag. That one just fits. See this guy. They should let you uh, review the people who packed each Amazon box that you get, right? That could really uh, that could lead to some improvements, maybe. I don't know. It'd probably just lead to a whole bunch of kids that are already way overworked, getting fired for nothing. Forget it. It was a bad idea. Um, all right. So I am going to get all this stuff put away, and then I'm going to end the archive. And then, uh, in theory, that archive might even get... I think I still have to do part of that. Um, so for the technical stuff, you know, like, we don't have to get into that again. But um, there is still a little bit of work for me pending to get the mailbags, I think, going on the regular. Um, you know, we had a big catch-up where I sent up all the ones that have been missing for a long time, and I think people have been uploading those wonderfully. But... Uh, we do, I do have to find, I think, some way to get them going then in the future on the uh, recurring basis. So that is uh, pending yet. I'm just, I just, I'm just trying to figure out what's going where. I think I kind of got that in the wrong spot, but that's okay. These can maybe go with me. This can go, this should go in the endowments pile. Where is that going to be? guess there for the moment. Uh, these can go to the suits. These can go to the stuff I am going to put or eat or use or do right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, can we? Can't leave that out. Got that shredded package. Notes, notes, notes. Our newspaper. Put that in there. You guys can't hear that beeping, can you? It's too quiet. It's our UPS again. It, it goes off once in a while just to remind me that 
It is not happy about its battery. And it's basically like uh, like right under this room, so I can just faintly hear it. Uh, UPS is what, what they call, um, it's just a little, it's like a battery. It's just a battery for your computer so that when the power goes out, the computer doesn't immediately stop working. It can go for five minutes uh, long enough for you to either, uh, you know, save what you're working on or get the generator running. So that's what that is, if you don't know. And we have several of them, actually. And uh, it's sort of a well-known limitation that the old-fashioned lead-acid batteries they still use only last about three years before you got to replace them. And uh, that one was, in fact, replaced by me four years ago. So it's no wonder it's been beeping at me. Okay. Christmas stuff, let's put you in the Christmas room. Right down here. Drizzle, I bet you wish you had pockets on your suit. These are nice. Uh huh. I need to switch this up. Let's see. You can go in there. <laughs> well, I should turn off this microphone before I forget. I can keep talking to you guys. We'll just use the regular mic. Um, let me do that as soon as I put my phone. Hang on. Still coffee and... Did I throw that toy on top of you a minute ago? How did that land right on you? Let's see, I have all the suits out here somewhere. Where are they? Upstairs. Let's put that in the box. Where's the upstairs box? I think I'm starting to see why DJ wears her onesie pajamas all the time. I can get used to this.
Here's Christmas. I'll put it in the Christmas room. Even that show about the kitten that has a big adventure. That's what it is, right? Like, what's the name of that show about the kid who gets left at home alone on Christmas? I can't think of it. Okay. This is nice. This is like a onesie. Yeah. It's a nice one though. I've never worn one. This is good. It's comfy. Well, I'm going to have to take two trips down. I'll be right back. Oh, he's got to go down too. I saw somebody, uh, saw somebody, I was talking to somebody on Discord yesterday, some people about the Jackson Galaxy station, the fact they don't make it anymore, and that one of the kids in this class really likes it. Is it, is it, is it, uh, Quid? At any rate, I just wanted to mention the fact that we do, in fact, have two, the, the last two Jackson Galaxy space stations in existence, uh, brand new in our basement, thanks to... Uh, I think it was uh, Sir Geek and Calimo that brought it over and dropped it off, so. There we go. 
Hey, Maggie? No, that's not Maggie. Who is that? Maggie's put up. Uh-oh, somebody took one of the leaves off of this. It didn't even know they came off. No? No. Alright, well. Here, let's put it on top. Then I'll tie the whole thing together. Maybe it was on top. Was it on top? Was there one on top? I should have put one on top. I think this will work. Well, everybody, I'm going to end the archive here. Thank you so much. Everybody, everything, um, just amazingly generous, as always. And wonderful people all around. I am so sweaty. Oh, they did pull off a little sticker and reveal my age. Let's unreveal it. All right, well, I guess I got to go sit in front of a fan. <laughs> I'm probably going to change into my street clothes for most of the day. This is fun, but uh, not practical on a day like today. So um, I might change back, though, if the trick-or-treaters are coming tonight. I guess I could put this on, but they won't know what I am, right? It's just a joke for us, so it doesn't even matter. The joke's been made. It's wonderful. Oh, and I owe thanks, by the way to uh, Babel about this because uh, she's the one that came up with the idea and sent it to me a couple days ago and I was like, I'm not doing anything this year. And uh, she was like, here, try this out. Babel Glyph on Discord. Uh, she said, I got this idea. It'd be really easy, low effort. And she linked it and I was like, yes, that's perfect. So thank you for that. Okay, uh, in the archive, we're going to do that right now. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Probably would do better ending the archive if I'd ever started it. I guess, hopefully. Oh, wait, did I? No, I think I did. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. I'll find out soon enough. <sighs> All right, well, I think that's everything organized for now. Buddy, you don't like your orange bed anymore? You'd rather be a spider? Enough of you, buddy. You can be as cool as you want, but... Oh, hi. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking your closet because there's no bottom in that one, huh? Fred Flintstone. Okay. Oh, that's a big purr farthing. I don't think anybody can hear it though. Their microphone's all the way over there.
You know, Mike, you want some of that? Want some of this? Here. Oh, that's an even bigger bird. All right, Farthing, hang on. We're doing pets. We're doing petting stuff. Oh, look at that. Quid with his tail up instead of all curled up. Oh, might be returning to curled. No? Keep it up there. Looking good. 